uh, hello there. Uh, this is M1 DLS or Mike One Delta Lima Sierra. Um, the the builder of the SDR receivers uh, is uh, getting into um, cheap antennas. You know, building them. I've got a lot of ideas. I've got pump shop antennas coming. I've got um, old, you know, old, old, old uh, schematics when I when I was on CB, which I'm going to utilise for the amateur bands, mainly 20 meters and up, like uh, 17, uh, 15, 10, obviously. Um, might even go down to 40. Um, but the whole my whole project is about making it cheap. One of my biggest projects is the cheapest brand new shank you can buy. Uh, I'll be giving advice on where to buy. Um, I'll be sharing all my experiences that I do while I play with antennas, which I do a lot. And I, um, I like to share me me uh, me projects, and hopefully you, you may copy them. So. This is an introduction, this is my first vlog. At the minute I am full lockdown beard, lockdown hair. Uh, <laughs> so it is uh, the 3rd of March 2021 and um, we've got I believe another five weeks of um, lockdown so it's going to get longer but I promise it's going. So enjoy the, the things. Um, I am just starting. I've got back into uh, amateur um, last year with, the, with because of lockdown, but mainly because I had a big stroke, um, leaving us paralysed down one one side. I do stutter, a lisp. Um, my hands not 100%. It works, but not as good as it used to. I have a little bit of a limp. I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm just asking for understanding why sometimes I'm a bit slow when doing these presentations but it's keeping us uh, keeping us sane so if you like uh, subscribe and uh, see some of the very interesting antennas I've got coming up all affordable and all very very good sometimes beating the top of the the range ones uh, mainly the um, the the mobile web beams I'm having a lot of success with them uh, which I'll be vlogging so I look forward to the comments and uh, like I say just take a bit of understanding I'm not the man I was so this is M1 Dayless signing off thank you Hi members, um, right, this is the progress so far, obviously it's messy but uh, it's getting attached to ground radials uh, rather than uh, counter poises. I've got them all ready to go but I took the feed point off, took the matching coil out, put the feed point on the front or the line with the self tapper to the uh, main radiating part, bit of chalk block. All bridged underneath, uh, which acts as a, a feed point for other uh, bands or a tuning element. When I put the 70 meter bit on the end, it was too too long. Now just moved it to that bit, and it's spot on now. I've I've, I've got me uh, 70 meter wire running up to spacer at the top. I know it's a bit close to the hustler, but I'm just analysing at the minute, I'm not transmitting. And back down. And the um, 
analyzer results are in and it's spot on here we go with analyzing this is 20 meters flat the whole band brilliant can't ask for anything else i'll not need me tuner on that now um i'm going to mark it up and keep it for portable i'll do uh 17 meters i've just knocked me wd-40 flying uh yeah teen megahertz stop yeah, yeah. teen point two uh three two uh that's the cw part that's 1.9 a uh, packet and uh what do you call it ft8 we're in the phone section now so that's uh 18.1 megahertz and we're on a, a swr of 1.1 1 .1 to 15 going out the band 130 we're creeping up 1.8 um, 17 it's creeping up it hasn't gone above 3 that's totally workable so success I'll be adding uh, 40 meters tomorrow thanks for watching